You'll be looking at shoe organizers in a whole new way after watching today's brand new video. I'm sure you've all seen these before and probably have used them before too, but they can be used in some surprisingly unique and useful ways. And some of these amazing uses are actually ideas that you, my creative DIY friends, have shared with me. And before we get started, if you are new here, I want to say welcome. My name is Shannon from the DailyDIYer.com. And if you're not new and one of my devoted DIYers, welcome back. Now back to the shoe organizers. This first idea is incredibly creative. And I want to thank my friend here on YouTube, Valerie F-M3013 for sharing this idea. First, I want to make sure to mention that these shoe organizers can actually be found at Dollar Tree of all places. This is my favorite one. You'll see this used over and over again. It is the regular one that's only $1.25. So you get some great organization for a great price. Or if you have a Dollar Tree Plus section, you can head over there and get a larger one for $5. This one has 20 pockets in it, so you're going to get even more storage by upgrading. So I thought this was a really genius idea that Valerie sent over. She actually suggested that you put these up underneath your mattress to give you some extra storage that hangs over the side of your bed. So I had a little bit of trouble. My mattress is really heavy. It might be helpful to have somebody help you with this to hold the mattress up while you place it and tuck it up underneath their mattress. Or it also was really helpful to actually fold this over a few times, actually fold it in half and folded it over again. So I had three of the pockets folded over and just two hanging off on the front. That gave me a little bit less that I needed to tuck up underneath the mattress. So then you just stick it right up under there. If you have a heavy mattress like mine, it is going to hold just fine for you. And you can see here, it just kind of hangs over the side there and you can use it for different things like your remotes, your Kindle as Val Valerie suggested, a book, glasses, anything that you need to keep handy while you're laying in bed, easy to reach down, grab it out and have it handy. Now we're gonna be completely switching gears and heading outside to our vehicle. Thank you to ROS8986 for this idea. She said it'd be a great idea to actually attach these to your headrest to use them in your vehicle. So I put a few zip ties together so it would reach around my headrest and then use those zip ties to attach the smaller sized, again, shoe organizer from Dollar Tree onto the back of the headrest. And this gives you ample storage for so many different things. So think if you're having a car trip or a road trip, you have space for snacks and activities. You can use this if you're a soccer mom like me for things like bug spray and sunscreen while you're on the go. Also, we have a dog. If you have pets, then you probably have pet hair. So I also like to keep a lint roller on hand while we're out and about. So, so many different things that you can use for this and gives you more storage in your vehicle. Love this idea. Heading back inside again, but this time into the bathroom. We actually have a cabinet on the back of our bathroom door, and we have a pretty small bathroom, so we're always needing more storage. So these shoe organizers are so great for additional storage. You just hang them with the provided hooks that they come with from your Dollar Tree purchase and hang it onto your shower curtain rod. This gives you more space for so many different things like hand towels and washcloths. You can see this holds all the ones that we keep in this bathroom just perfectly. You can also add your hair towels, the ones that are a bit smaller in there, probably a little bit too small of a holder to hold regular sized towels, but this gets some things out of your cabinets, off your countertops, so you have some more free space. Towels are not the only thing that you can store in these shoe organizers in your bathroom. I have a few more ideas for you too, like storing your cleaning supplies. I've said this before, I pretty well get 95% of my cleaning supplies at Dollar Tree. They work great, they're at a great price, so head to Dollar Tree, get your cleaning supplies, save yourself a bundle of money. Another idea is to use them for your first aid supplies. So we have three kids, we need a lot of first aid items. Another idea is to actually put a cup inside of these pockets for smaller items like your tubes and cream so they don't fall down and get lost. You can see them when you look in there and grab out what you need. Perfect for band-aids, cotton balls, ace bandages, uh, out rubbing alcohol, peroxide, that kind of thing. Whatever first aid items that you need. 
So I've shared that you could use the hooks that come with your shoe organizer. You can also use zip ties to attach them, but another great way is to use these removable hooks that you can get from Dollar Tree as well. Just keep in mind that they do have a weight limit, so check that up in the top right corner to make sure you're getting the right size for your shoe organizer or whatever you're gonna be storing in it. We recently put this cabinet in our living room. I have needed a coat closet for years. Finally, Ikea got in the size that we needed. So we are gonna maximize the amount of storage space in here. And 1960 Connie actually gave me this idea. She said to use it for your winter gear. And I thought that this was genius. So if you have a closet, add a shoe organizer in there and you can add different items for your winter time. We get super cold winters here. And so things like your winter hats, your earmuffs, your uh, headbands that cover up your ears during the winter time, scarves, gloves, thick socks, whatever you need. They're by the front door for you to grab. And then when you get back home, tuck them in those pockets. They're nice and organized and handy for the next time you need them. So you've seen me using these smaller sized shoe organizers throughout this video. It just happens to work out for the size of our home. If you have a bigger closet door, get the bigger size shoe organizer and then you'll have even more space. You can see I have two smaller doors, so I'm gonna get one more of these shoe organizers from Dollar Tree, so I have one on each side. This idea comes from Jeannie Ackerman 6868. She suggested using them for ball caps. My son loves ball caps has a ton, so I thought I would give this one a try. Another great one to keep by your front door so you can grab and go. I did find it easier to actually put the bill of the hats down into the pockets of the shoe organizer so that they wouldn't fall over. But you can see you can even stack these on top of each other and more than one will fit in each pocket. So this is a great option if you have lots of those baseball hats like my son does. Now let's move into the kitchen. So on the left side here, we have this long cabinet door that actually is our secret door to our basement and also a broom closet. So we just finished renovating our kitchen about a year ago now. You can see in there, if you turn to the right, it actually goes down the stairs. So it looks like a wall of cabinets, but it's actually a hidden space for storage and our basement entry. I've always wanted to put a shoe organizer on the inside of this cabinet door. And finally, it was the time finding these perfect size shoe organizers at Dollar Tree. I didn't want to drill into the cabinet door, so those repositional Dollar Tree hooks worked perfectly. And then Allison O'Brien 6384 suggested this was the perfect way to store your pet items. You know we have our dog Honey. She is spoiled as can be. So she has lots of accessories like her toothpaste, puppy wash, brush, eye wipes, paw wash her extra collars. So this holds so many different things. Easy for us to just grab them out of there on our way out the door, on our way out the back door. Of course, if you're a pet owner, like I said earlier, we need those lint rollers from Dollar Tree all over the house and in the cars. So this was a handy place to put them. I also may add some hooks above here for her leashes and harnesses too, to make this a perfect little pet supply organization area. Now this cannot just be me in my house. You'll have to let me know down in the comments below. Do you have a cabinet full of cups that looks like this? That's just packed to the brim. Things are falling out of it. We even have cups on the counter because they just don't even fit into the cabinet anymore. If you have this problem, grab a shoe organizer from Dollar Tree and use it for your cup storage in spaces like this. If you have an empty wall, the inside of a pantry door. You can add a shoe organizer and put your cups, your overflow cups on the back of it. It's hidden. It's protected. I also like that this is right next to our refrigerator. So we use these mainly for water. So it's kind of nice to have them close by. Grab a cup, grab some water. You're on your way. So as I said earlier, if you have a bigger door, grab a bigger shoe organizer. Obviously this one has 20 pockets versus the eight on the smaller one. So you're gonna get so much more storage. And Nicole Porter 5732 actually had given the idea to use this for kids toys. 
my kids have so many stuffed animals they never want to get rid of them so this was a nice way to store them they're up off the floor they're not all over their beds so it's easier to change sheets and things so this is an idea i also use this when my son was smaller and i actually used it for his baby items baby wipes diapers creams cleansers that kind of thing so that's another idea for you now this idea I shared with you previously in a prior organization video, which I will link down in the description box if you're wanting more organization ideas. And that is the video where you guys all commented and left me all of the ideas that I've shared here today. So I wanna thank you for sending them and for always commenting. I love reading your comments, but I wanted to share this idea again with you. It is for your hair products. So whether this is in your bathroom or next to a vanity where you're getting ready, you can add things like your hair dryer straighteners, your hair products, your hair brushes, all that kind of thing. So they're up, easy to access, nice and organized, keeps it all clean. And I just think that this is such a great idea. I use this idea and this method of using shoe organizers for my own purposes as I'm getting ready each day. You can never have too many organization ideas when it comes to your craft room. And these shoe organizers are great for a ton of different crafting items. And B Wow April Lee actually suggested using them for your yarn skeins. And you can see these are big ones, so they actually hold pretty good sized yarn skeins too, but a great way to see what you're low on or what colors you might need. Have them out, have them organized, easy to grab and go. This idea I had to try. This idea came from Debbie Crawford, 5890. She said to use it for your florals. This is an area that I struggle with. I love the Dollar Tree florals and they fit perfectly in these shoe organizers. I love that I can see what I have. They're not all flat and crumpled and bunched up in a cabinet somewhere. So I love that these actually work really good for the Dollar Tree florals. And then this is my own idea. I thought this would work really well for your vinyl, whether it's HTV or your regular vinyl, the rolls just tuck right down into those pockets. Again, it makes it easy for you to see what you have, what you need, what you're low on, easy for you to grab whenever you are in the middle of crafting. So you can just grab and get to crafting. And it looks really pretty too with all the fun colors, it helps kind of decorate up your crafting space too. I couldn't leave you today without doing a fun project with these shoe organizers, but this one, I had to head over to Amazon and grab this one. It's actually pretty big, 24 pockets, but it has the clear pockets on the front, still less than $10, a great deal, and I'll link it down in the description box below for you. We're gonna make a fun Christmas advent calendar. If you didn't know, I have another YouTube channel called The Cozy Christmas Cottage just, that just ramped up for the new 2023 holiday season. So if you haven't been there yet, head to the description box and subscribe if you love Christmas, you definitely need to head over there. But let's go ahead and do this project here on the Daily DIYer channel. The reason we need those clear pockets is because we're going to add some photos in there. And actually, this is a design that I created and will have free for you to download down in the description box below. So you just head down there, click the link, download them. And these are all of the countdown days we're going to add into the pockets of this uh, countdown calendar. I went ahead and actually sent mine over to Walgreens. It literally took like 15 minutes for them to get done. It was like $7 to print them. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to save my printer paper, save my printer ink, send them over to Walgreens and they were done in no time and look probably a lot nicer than my printer could do anyway. So this was a very quick and expensive project. I'm just adding each one of those numbers into the pockets, just sliding them all the way against the wall where it's flat, not where it's bubbled up and wrinkled in the front of the, of the clear pockets. So the idea here is that you can start counting down the days until Christmas on December 1st. And as you reveal those numbers, you'll see how many days are left until Christmas Day. Now, we do need to reveal those numbers. So what I did is I actually went to Hobby Lobby and found this box of cards. It was only $9.99, 50% off, $5 for this box of cards. You could use cardstock too. That works just as good. And you just tuck those cards right in front of those numbers so that you can reveal the days as you go along. Now, you can also take this up a notch and you can add gifts to those pockets. You get a little treat each day, some candy. You could write notes or uh, scriptures or the story of Christmas on the backs of those cards. So you get a little message each day as you reveal those numbers. 
Make sure to take advantage of those free printables that I'll have linked down in the description box below, along with a link to the shoot organizer from Amazon to make it easy for you to find if you want to recreate this Christmas countdown project. Let me know which one of these was your favorite idea of how to use shoe organizers or if you have other ideas of how you can use them that I didn't share with you today. Let me know what those are down in the comments below. As always, take a second, please hit that thumbs up button. That helps out my channel so, so much and allows me to continue bringing you free content and ideas just like today's video. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell as well, select all, and you'll never miss an idea that I post here on the Daily DIYer channel. As always, I want to thank you all so much for joining me today, and I will see you in the next one. Have a creative day!